Hi there gorgeous, happy Frugal Friday to you. Guess what, guess what, guess what, guess what? I found my wedding ring, yay! If you were not aware, my wedding ring, I don't think I've talked about it publicly, but it's been missing for three years. Three years it's been gone. So we just found it the other day and I'm gonna share the whole story with you at the end of the video. I, I wanna jump right into this because I know some people don't like a lot of personal chit chat in the beginning of the video, so we'll talk about that at the end. But in today's video, I'm sharing a bunch of speed reviews with you for random makeup products that I've been testing recently. These are from Marin, Flower, and Essence, and I will give you all the little mini reviews, show you everything up close, so that you can make an informed decision. First product I have to share with you, let's talk about the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. I got this one recently. I've been testing it out over the past week or so. Beautiful finish, excellent application with this one. Very skin-like, extremely light. It's almost like a BB cream on the face. It's very hydrating. If you have a drier complexion, I'm oily for those who aren't aware, Drier complexions would really appreciate this one from the hydration standpoint because you can feel that on your skin and you can see it on the skin and it's simply beautiful. In the up close example I'm showing you here, I did apply two very light layers of the foundation in order to get the complete coverage that I was looking to achieve and hide some of the red spots on my face. So on the first day that I tested out this foundation, I wore it for about eight hours and there was some shine breakthrough. Hopefully you can see it here. Sometimes shine is a little hard to show you on camera, but despite the shine breakthrough, there was no movement on the face whatsoever. Everything remained intact by the end of the day. So I was really happy to see that. Shine breakthrough is pretty easy to manage with primers. And I will tell you that when you mix this one in with a primer, you get a little bit longer wear with it. Not much, but you do get a little bit longer wear. So this is why I say that if you're oily like me, I don't know that you would like this one without a primer. But if you have a drier complexion, I think you would really love this one from the standpoint of how hydrating it is and then how it makes the skin look because it's incredibly beautiful on the skin. So overall, I was pretty happy with it and yeah. The next product I want to share with you is Flowers Lift and Sculpt Contouring Palette. The shade that I'm showing you here is CT2. Now this one has a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter within the palette. And on the day that I tested this out, it was very pigmented on initial application. I did not struggle at all with getting it to show up. I actually found myself having to dial back the amount of product that I was applying onto the skin for both the contour the blush, and even for the highlighter too. I mean, I applied the highlighter with my finger initially, and it was like, whoa, Nelly, I applied way too much, and I had to really blend it out. Looked great after the initial application. Unfortunately, this one faded, and I tested it out a couple days after I did this initial test that I'm showing you here, and it still faded. It faded horribly. It doesn't matter what you're wearing it over the top of, because I wore it over a, just a simple powder foundation, it still faded and you couldn't see it at the end of the day. So I was really disappointed in that. Most times I've had great experiences with flower, beauty, cosmetics, but this one really was disappointing. Marin. Okay, so I tested out their lipstick sealer in a video very recently, and they happened to see it and sent me a whole box of their favorite makeup products to try. So very special thank you to them for the products that I'm getting ready to share with you here. I tested a number of them out. The first one that I tried is their Precious Gem Powder, and this is a pigment that you can use on the eyes, you can use it as blush, you can use it as lipstick. It's a great multi-purpose kind of product. But I happen to use it on my eyes in the example that I'm showing you here. The one that I'm using, by the way, is Rosinka. I think that's how you say it. And I also mixed it in with their mixing liquid. And the mixing liquid is what makes it easier to apply the pigment, it makes it waterproof, helps it to last longer on the eyes. The other thing I really liked about the mixing liquid is that I found if I had too much of the pigment applied onto my lid, I could dip my brush solely into the mixing liquid and then go over my lid with just the liquid and that helped to smooth out 
the excess chunkiness that I would get from having applied too much of the pigment. So that was a really nice quality that I recently discovered and it's, it's something I'm going to keep in mind for the future because this happens to me a lot where I'll go to apply a rather chunky shimmery eyeshadow and then it looks cakey and scaly on the eyes. Has that ever happened to you where you apply too much and you can see it sitting there? In the future, if that happens to you, take something like this mixing liquid. You can also use Inglot's Duraline for that matter. Dip your brush into it and then swipe it over the eye and it will get rid of all of that excess. So hot new tip I just happened to learn off the cuff. But yeah, that was a great product, the mixing liquid and the powder pigment. Also, it lasted all day. I did not have any issues with creasing. It looked gorgeous and very happy with those products. I also tried out their Velvet Finish Smoothing Primer recently, and I tested this separately on a day with Essence's Pretty Natural foundation that I just talked about. It's beautiful on initial application. It does blur the pores. It gives you a filterized look, and you can see that up close here in the side-by-side -side comparison. I'm showing you applying it on one side of my face and then not applying it on the other. It looks absolutely stunning. Unfortunately, I did not have much success with it extending the wear time of makeup. And with that Essence Pretty Natural foundation, it started to break down at about the five hour mark in terms of shine breakthrough with the velvet primer applied underneath. So I don't feel like it's a, a good primer. I've tried it with other foundations too and I had the same experience. It really didn't do much to extend the wear time of makeup. So for me personally, I didn't have a wowing experience with it. Everyone's going to be different. Just sharing with you what I experienced. Another product that I tried is the Flower Fiber Eyebrow. This is a product I purchased not too long ago. I meant to include it in a video recently, simply forgot, and I stumbled across it again, so I'm really happy I remembered that I bought it. This is their Fiber Fix Brow Gel, and the shade that I'm showing you here is Light Brown. This is basically a gel with little fibers mixed into it. And I thought it would be a great one to try because I have such sparse eyebrows. And the initial application with it was really easy. I love how effortless it was to apply and it did fill in my brows much better than I had expected for it to. Best part is, lasted all day. I didn't have any issues with it staying put and I was really, really happy with this one. So if that describes you and you have very sparse brows and you're looking for something that will give you the look of more brows that will stay put, I think you would really enjoy this one. Another product I tried from Marin is their Touch Up Anti-Shine. And I don't know if this is a primer, we just call it a primer, but it's a product that you're supposed to be able to apply over the top of a foundation that starts to have shine breakthrough and it will help to mattify the skin and extend the wear time of makeup. So again, on a day that I was testing the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation, I applied this over the top of the foundation when I did get that shine breakthrough at the end of the day. And here's the thing, if you apply it with your finger, you will disturb some of the product underneath and then you get this uneven looking application and it looks pretty, yeah, it's not pretty. But if you apply this with a sponge instead of your finger, the results are more polished and you don't disturb the makeup underneath. And it does work. I'm gonna add that in because it really truly did mattify the face and it stayed that way for about six hours after I had applied the anti-shine whatever you want to call this stuff is. So this stuff really does work and it's almost tempting to think of it as something you could use to set your face after you apply your makeup too. It's not necessarily something that you would have to use in the middle of the day when you have shine breakthrough already happening. So keep that in mind. If you have a special event coming up and you just don't want to worry about your makeup, this is a really excellent product and I was very happy with it. So e.l.f. sent me their putty bronzers, oh uh, gosh, I wanna say a month and a half ago. They've been sitting here in my makeup drawer waiting to be used for the longest time now, so I finally got around to using them. I wasn't wowed by these. I found them to be a little more tedious to apply. I, beyond it, 
to be honest with you, I was a little afraid of applying too much of it. So I didn't put much on the brush in the initial application. I decided to layer it a couple of times and then blend as I go. And the color I wasn't a fan of, it pulled red on me. That's going to be a personal thing based on your own unique body chemistry. And it didn't really, I don't know, I, I wasn't in love with it after the initial application. And then by the end of the day, it was completely gone and you couldn't see it on my skin at all. Now granted, I didn't apply a whole lot of it, but I applied enough where you could see it after the initial application. So the fact that it faded, I don't know, I just was not, I wasn't wowed by this one. So will I use it again? No. Feel free to share your tips. I would love to try something new with this and see if I can get a different result. It may just be that I'm not applying it the way that I should. I don't know. Anyway, I always love to read your tips because you have such great advice too. So feel free to share that in the comments below. The last product, I think, I think this is the last product I have to share with you are the Marin lip creams and they have three different ones. They sent me these really bright reds. Aren't those amazing? Oh, beautiful reds. By the way, this is called Dare. It's a really bright red. This one is called Mischief Maker. Another bright red. And the one that I did end up using because I just wasn't in a red mood the day that I tested this one out is the one called Early Riser. And that's more of a muted peach shade. I love the initial application. It was very creamy and it did dry down fully matte to where it didn't transfer but it didn't last that long. I only got maybe about three to four hours of wear from it. And the first time I ate, it was pretty much gone off of my lips completely. And I do give it quality points because you can see there's a lot of quality in the product itself. It's a little tedious to apply. I mean, you need a lip brush. You can dip your finger into the pan too if you wanna wash your hands beforehand to keep everything a little safer there. But this kind of design it's a little harder to reapply with as often as i feel like you would need to reapply it so some people may not like that about this either is it a product that i would use in the future more than likely yes but probably only on camera it's not one that i feel works well with my personal lifestyle i have three small kids okay bullets work for me <laughs> i need something where i can go and be done i don't have time to do everything with the lip brush as much as i would love to it's just not feasible for me on an everyday basis. But in the studio, yeah, absolutely. I'll pull these little boogers out and have a grand time with them. If any of these products sparked your interest today, I will have all of them listed and linked for you below in the description box. And if you've tried any of them out, feel free to share your experience as well. I would love to hear what you thought about any of these products. So about my ring, funny story. Many of you know I have three small children. I had them pretty much back to back to back, three and three years. Yeah, but when I was pregnant, I would get a lot of swelling in my hands. Some women get it in their feet, ankles, etc., which I did get at the very, very end, but throughout the whole pregnancy, it was mainly in my fingers. So I could never really wear my wedding ring when I was pregnant. And at the time I was pregnant with Gia and I would keep my ring in my ring holder in my closet. And on one day we had a gentleman that was coming in to service something in our bedroom and my husband saw my ring hanging out there in my closet and he got concerned and hid it. I don't ever give my husband anything to hide because when the man hides things, he hides them so well he forgets where he hides them. At the time it wasn't a big deal because I couldn't wear it anyway. So I didn't really think about it much. And then I got pregnant with Ace not long after I had Gia again, couldn't wear my ring even if I would have had it. So I really didn't think about it. And it wasn't until after I had Ace that I started to really think about this ring some more. And I had had comments come through on the YouTube videos. Where's your wedding ring? Are your husband and you still together? And, and you know, these kinds of things. It just had been missing and we really hadn't taken the time to look for it. So lo and behold, I asked my husband, I said, could you please clean out your closet? Cause he knew he had put it in his closet. He just didn't know where. So he went through his closet, took him about four or five weeks to go through this closet. And one night I had been putting Ace down to sleep and I came out and he was already asleep. And then there was my ring sitting on the counter and my husband was there with a big old smile on his face and he had found it. And it was like, wow. So after three years, 
We found this silly ring. I hope that you have a beautifully blessed weekend ahead and I truly look forward to seeing you again next time.